It's invisible, it's everywhere, and it could very well be the thing that kills you. Are you ready for the air apocalypse? Did you know that cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of death globally? And a risk factor we often forget to mention is air pollution. But how can air pollution contribute to cardiovascular diseases? Well, air pollutants all share a common property. They all act as oxidants, meaning that they steal electrons from other substances. So when air pollutants enter our bodies, they oxidize substances within the body to produce chemicals known as reactive oxygen species. These reactive oxygen species then activate a protein known as the P50P65 heterodimer. Once activated, P50P65 makes its way to the nucleus of the cell, where it binds to DNA. As you probably already know, DNA stores genetic information. However, another crucial molecule to be familiar with is RNA. RNA is created from the information contained within DNA, and the information stored within RNA is in turn used to make proteins. Think DNA makes RNA makes protein. Now, back to P50P65. When this protein binds to the DNA, it mobilizes an enzyme called RNA polymerase, which converts specific parts of the DNA's data to RNA. The RNA then uses this data to make proteins known as pro-inflammatory cytokines. These pro-inflammatory cytokines bring about inflammation. Therefore, chronic inflammation can occur as a result of repeated exposure to air pollution. Aha! But how does inflammation cause cardiovascular disease? Great question! You might have heard about atherosclerosis, where a plaque builds up inside of arteries, which can obstruct the flow of blood through the circulatory system, in turn leading to heart attack, stroke, or even death. And you might think that this is caused by a buildup of cholesterol inside of arteries. But in fact, atherosclerosis is predominantly an inflammatory process. Essentially, by activating an inflammatory response, air pollutions result in an increased population of white blood cells, which then gather within the artery and adhere to its inner wall. Of these cells, monocytes actually mature into cells called macrophages, which are then transformed into foam cells. These cells produce even more pro-inflammatory cytokines, driving the formation of the plaque forward in this vicious cycle. So as you can see, air pollution and cardiovascular disease are linked. And knowing this means that we can design new and better treatments. This is incredibly exciting for the 10 to 25% of CD patients whose symptoms are unexplained by traditional risk factors. To protect your health today, include antioxidants in your diet. Get a house plant to pause your move indoor air pollution. Avoid excising the traffic. And finally, get involved in environmental protection so, so our, our health, health can breathe easy. easy.